Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. We're currently in the deep woods of the Wooded Kingdom. And we need to get out of here. Um, but first, before we get out of here, I want to get the last few things that are down here. Which will include finding the T-Rex and then capturing it if I can. Which is easier said than done. Uh, but I also believe that this rock over here is a special rock. So we're going to need to kick that around for a little bit. Which is a little bit difficult with the T-Rex roaming. Uh, he just goes along this dirt path, so you just need to be careful of that. But anyway. Rolling rock in the deep woods. Now I guess I should head back the opposite direction, because that's going to make it run into me faster. There it is. Now, can I actually get this to work? Oh, there it is. Oh. It is angry. Hiding behind trees is good, but it's still gonna get you. Ow. If it charges at you like this, and if you can get it to hit something, that'd be great. But that is a little bit difficult. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. It can break through those boulders, which is why I need it. There we go. Let's grab that. We can only hold it for a short amount of time. Short-ish amount of time. So we will need to be careful about breaking things quickly. And I guess we can also hop out of it for short sections of time. To get things, if I can, please. Oh, did I get it? I don't think I got it. And I think it's back, and I think it has its hat back. Yep. Oh dear. Mr. T-Rex, I'm right next to you. Ow, that was a bad move. Oh, that was a really bad move. Oh my goodness, it's so fast. It's so fast. Okay, if it rolls like that, it'll dash into you. Okay, let's grab this again, and let's not let go this time, because we need it to go quite a distance. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, I just killed the thing. That's fine, it should respawn. But anyway, if we take this T-Rex right up here, and break that, there's a little spot that we can open up. I think that's the last thing we need the T-Rex for. But I could be wrong, so I'm going to take it for a spin, if I can. It might get up in a second here. I need to grab it, I need to grab it, I need to grab it. Oh, grab. Nope, too late. You can lure it to get to destroy things for you. Oh, but it's a little bit dangerous. Hello. Running away, 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 running away. Please break these blocks for me. Oh, it really wanted to break those blocks for me. Okay, there's nothing here. So I think that's everything with the T-Rex. The only other thing is that sprout that we need to take a look at. Which is easier said than done, because I need to get a thing. I think I know where it is now, since we killed what I need before. Although I don't know if it's respawned is the problem. Um... Um... I don't know. If it respawned, I might actually need to leave and come back. So I'm going to do that. Also, whenever you grab onto one of these vines that you've already grown, they just push up so that you don't have to worry about doing anything, but also shake to make yourself get up faster. But anyway, right next to where the Odyssey is, we can actually get back here for some purple coins. Ah, uh, but we're going to jump down again because we're not done down there yet. We still have one more moon to get. If I can. So... Somewhere down here, right over here, is this thing. We've encountered this once once before. Um, uh, whenever you press Y to shoot, uh, you shoot your own money out, so it means you lose money. Um, but there is actually a reason that this enemy is capturable. 
And that's because this sprout here requires money to grow. So we need to keep paying it money until it's fully grown. We can shake to shoot faster, but I don't know if that's the best strategy for growing this. Because I think it just needs to be a time frame rather than a coin amount, possibly. I could be wrong. But as it gets taller, it's going to cost more money for each each section. So I might actually just start going nuts. Like that. Okay, hold off. Let it grow for a bit. Okay, needs more. And it takes a lot of coins now. Okay, it's almost there. Just a little bit more coins. And nope. Okay, I'm just gonna go single shot now. And there we go! Oh my goodness. I'm gonna kill this thing. And take its coins. <laughs> For all those coins I lost. It's actually not that bad, but... It still feels like a lot at the time, but anyway. Let's grab that. And that should be all of the moons in the deep woods, minus one for now. So I will get that last one that is other than the rest of that. But for now, let's head up to the Odyssey if I can. Because I think I'm gonna try... maybe. 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 I guess I can go to the, ne king the next kingdom now, so let's do that. We do have 30 moons. Which is a decent amount of moons. So let's go. We have enough power to now to make our way to the Metro Kingdom. Time to cross that vast ocean. To think that precious Sore bouquet was uh, stolen. We can't let that Bowser keep doing whatever he wants. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some helpful skills. The roll. I love rolls. Well, there it is. Now then, let's see what there is to see in the Metro Kingdom. Goodness, what was that? I don't have time for you. I'm busy planning my wedding. Don't you know how stressful that is?
So we have a Bowser boss fight now. So let's hit his hat before it hits us. And now let's take it onto our own head and dodge his attacks. And now we can press Y to punch or shake the Joy-Cons to punch even faster. That'll teach you. Okay, now he's making some extra ones which we have to take out before they hit us. But it's basically the same as before. Using Cappy to collect Bowser's hat is very useful. And he's also making these blocks to hit us with now, but we can... We just don't even need to worry about them. We can break them. Okay, that's a lot of hats. I believe if you take damage and break these hats, you can actually get health out of them sometimes. Okay, let's go. And Bowser blocks this time, so we need to jump over his tail. And now take him out. Fire! <laughs> See what you're up against, Mario. Uh, where are we now? Oh no, the Odyssey is all busted up. We'll need some power moons to fix it. Let's get looking. Yep, the Odyssey is now broken so we can't use it. We can see the energy of the, uh, the power moons going through its things though. Which is pretty cool. Uh, and also, I just want to point out this that this thing that we put the power moons into is actually the same as the ones on Bowser's airship, and the sails are very similar as well. Which I like the the cool, I don't know, comparison of the two being the same. But anyway. It's Mario 64 all over again. We have lost Cappy, but we can get him back, so let's go do that. And we can ground pound on either side of these uh, platforms here to make them go up or, or up and down, depending on which side we're on. Uh, but we can also just... Oh, I can't do that, though. Well, I can just do it in the middle. But anyway, we need to get to Cappy quickly. or well, somewhat quickly, I guess. Uh, but we can also get a power moon over in these stairs along the way, so let's grab that. And the power moons are yellow again, just because. Okay, dodging these things. Let's get up here, and it moves over to the other side. And we just do that. Well, thanks for the rescue. That was unpleasant and rather pokey. I sure don't. Uh, I sure hope it doesn't happen again. Now to pluck up our spirits, let's go collect some power moons. So yeah, the Lost Kingdom is a kingdom without any major moons. So no main, like, go to this place, and then the level progresses. It's just open from the from the start. So. We can grab some purple coins and moons and just go for it, I guess. But anyway, 
We also have some new captures to try out. Mainly these uh, caterpillars. Which means that when we can walk around, but we can also press hold Y and move to stretch. And wherever we end up on the ground, if we let go, we go to that point. You're supposed to do that to get to that moon on top of that branch, but I prefer just jumping straight to it. Since that's fairly simple. But anyway, this is going to be pretty good now. I actually really like this kingdom, especially because it's just so simple. But anyway, ground pound here and get a power moon in the middle of these butterflies. Actually, the butterflies go away after you get the power moon there. Um, but anyway, what we probably want to do to start off is actually head to the very top of the level, which we can do by throwing Cap into these enemies that then charge at you with it. Uh, and they can break blocks for you. But anyway, let's keep going. We can actually just jump around those, so I might actually do that since it's a little bit simpler than having them break the blocks for me. But they really just hand out moons in this level, since you need them to progress. Or even go to any other level. And we can ground pound that switch to make these blocks appear so we can actually wall jump up, but we need to go quickly. We could actually see this kingdom on the map in between the kingdoms. Just out in the middle of the ocean, but we apparently ignored it because Cappy wanted to. Now, am I crazy? I think I'm crazy. Oh, there's a power moon. <laughs> Let's grab that. Oh, if I don't fall off. Also, this flag up here is very useful. It means you can get pretty much anywhere from up, up here. But there's also the Cappy Cap, which is the Star Shroom from Super Mario Galaxy. And the Toads are running it. Got some new products in. Let's buy ourselves the power moon for this level. And we can also buy some purple coin stuff, but we probably want to get the rest of the 50 purple coins first. This is considered a small level since it only has 50 purple coins in it as well. Now let's glide over to this island over here since there's a power moon. Also, just this entire area is surrounded by the poison group swamp stuff. So we can't go into the group, otherwise we die instantly. Anyway, let's keep on looking around. Um, I can actually go over here. You're supposed to use one of the stretchy things to get to this moon, but you can also just dive into it. I mean, you grab it, but you also die. Unless you do that, because I'm surprised I managed to do that. You can definitely just get one of these stretchy caterpillars a lot faster than that, though. Well, uh, not faster, but fast-ish, if you wanted to just do a simple grab of that. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go up one of these poles, since these count as poles, and there are purple coins up here for me to collect, so I need, need those. <laughs> it's just a moon up there. Both of those spinning platforms just have moons. I'm surprised that it's that simple. But anyway, let's go up here and get some more purple coins. Very nice. And now, if we go over here, we actually have one of the coolest things in the game. Because we have an 8-bit section. Which connects with the... the 3D section. And it's so cool that it just does this. Oh my goodness, I love this section so much. And each side of this bit here has a power moon for you. And the fuzzies are going in and out, and it's so cool. It's basically the same thing on either side. Since it's just two platforms moving back and forth with the fuzzies. Oh, but, but it's so cool. Did I mention it's cool? Because it's really cool. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab this, which you can get with the, um, the caterpillars to move around the fuzzies. But you can just jump over them anyway, so why not? But anyway, got enough power moons, but we're going to stick around here for a little bit longer. And we're going to get some more stuff. So let's grab these pieces of power moon. 
avoiding fuzzies if we can. Nope, keep going, keep going. I'm, I'm unpressing the button too soon. Oh, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I don't know how I let go. But apparently I did. So. Now if we can get the last piece over here. Like that. Also these trees around here have similar characteristics to the Tanuki. In a way. I think there's actually one that looks a lot like Tanuki Mario. <coughs> or just a Tanuki. It's the one over by where we got Cappy back. But anyway, in this secret hole over here is Captain Toad with a hoard of treasure, apparently. How'd I get here? I was dropped by a giant bird. A different giant bird than my usual one. But it's been uh, nice to rest here in, uh, in the quiet. In the quiet. And I discovered a power moon for you, so that's good. It's a shame that Captain Toad can't jump, because uh, as soon as he walks out the door, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. But also, just how did he get in here in the first place? <laughs> anyway, let's grab this, and we should probably grab this caterpillar to head around. I believe if you have a power moon that's just out, that you've activated, and don't grab it, it probably will get, you'll probably disappear if you leave the area, so. Or even if you warp. I haven't tested this, but anyway, let's grab this one before that happens. And let's head back up to the second level if I can. So over by this bit here is a tanuki looking tree that's holding onto the platform. It actually goes down when you ground pound on it, and up when you ground pound on the other side. But anyway, if we ground pound on this though, we can actually get this power moon over here. Inside the stone cage. Um, let's see, what else is there? Down here is another one of these blocks. And some purple coins. Okay, if I can head back up here though. There should be some purple coins down here we can grab by wall jumping. It's also just a moon just off the edge. They really just hand you moons in this level. Oh hey, an invisible block. I was just ready to go straight up, but apparently there's an invisible in, uh, invisible block there. But anyway, if we can blow up this rock over here using this these things. If you get on top of the thing it's aiming at, then you can dodge it automatically. But anyway, another power moon. And now, if I can keep moving around, I believe, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, okay. Ah, uh, but if we... Oh, what do I want to do? Hang on. Thinking. Let's go over here, because we can use this guy here to aim at, at that cage over there. If we can dodge him, that is. And he breaks open the cage for us. So we have to get over there now for that power moon. But we're doing well, so... Let's go get it. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, please. I'm just doing too many side flips and jumps and stuff and it's getting crazy. Uh, can I make it back up there? I don't think I can, but I think if I cap bounce... Okay, there we go. Good. So let's go get the one that's just off on that platform, if I can actually do what I'm trying to do. Since it's right over here, it's just free. We've almost got 20 moons out of this level already. Uh, over here we have some more purple coins to grab. Which we can actually use this thing to get more around the edge here. Um, looks like that's everything up here, actually. So let's head on down a little bit and grab these purple coins right over here. There's also some more purple coins over there that I'd like to get, but I believe it's a little bit more difficult to get those. So let's head up to the top of the mountain. And let's grab 
this lizard thing. No, it's not a lizard. What is it? I can't remember what it's called. I, I'm not going to pretend to know what it's called. Uh, but we can glide down over to this thing easy enough. <laughs> oh, he landed just on the platform. Amazing. I take my hat off to you, but yeah. Flying, 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 scree, scree. Anyway, we can slingshot ourselves back or just use uh, the flags. Uh, but we went ahead up, back up to the top of the mountain so we can move down a bit more. Down the mountain. Uh, because there's actually a, another level that we didn't go to down here. And here's the cockatoo. Uh, the talker too, if we need that. There's also a, a block down here we can break to go into this little hole for some more purple coins. Um, pixel cat peach. Just a blue toad, I guess. Uh, but there's also these sprouts here that we can sprout for a moon. Cave gardening. And... Now, this one is a little bit more difficult, uh, but if you have your detached Joy-Con so you can shake the controller, if you move a little bit slowly towards this butterfly and then throw and then shake, that butterfly gives us a power moon. It does run off when you try, when you get too close to it, so that's why you have to be quick about getting it. And the lock-on with the... Um, with shaking is really useful useful for that. But anyway, I believe we're actually down to the last um, pixel cat Mario. We're down to the last moon already. We just need a few more purple coins as well though. Ow. Saw some purple coins over here and I believe the last purple coins are over by the last moon as well. So that'll work out pretty nicely actually. So let's go get a caterpillar. Just because, I guess. Come on. Come with me. Okay. So if we take this over back to the beginning, which may take a little bit of time. But if we stretch and unstretch a fair bit, we can actually go a little bit faster. But just a little bit, because it's a little bit difficult to not... Uh, if, if you're too high above the ground, it won't let you let go. And there's a lot of slopes that you need to worry about. Like that. And then it's just not fast enough. Anyway, here's the last purple coins over here. So let's go ahead and grab those. And also, a little lock here, which we can grab the key for by stretching into it. And that should be the last power moon that's available to us, if I'm correct. Twist and turn up treasure. So let's check the, uh... Oh, there's five more, but I don't think we can get those, maybe. I'll talk to the parrot. We can also buy the purple coin stuff now. So I'm going to do that as well. And also, on top of this um, star stream, if you ground pound on the top, you get some coins. It's not a moon, but it's still interesting. Hello, friends. We get this... Uh, outfit. <laughs> Aviator outfit. Very nice. And there we go. Well, let's go talk to the talker too. And see if there's any moons left that I forgot about. It's possible, but doubtful. I usually know where everything is. No more hints here, Skraka. No more hints. Okay then. So, with that, that should be everything in this level. So let's head back to the Odyssey. But also, that is it for now. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.